Hey there folks, and welcome to this video, and we're back in a set of course for something that's going to be a lot of fun. Now, recently, Lewis Hamilton was saying that F1 should look at racing in Africa again. Uh, saying that it would be something that would add a different kind of perspective. Now, Africa as a continent doesn't have an FIA Grade 1 track. However, if you look at Grade 2, the circuit Kailami comes up. Now, Kailami hosted the Grand Prix in South Africa as late as 1993. And since then, it's had a massive redesign. Um, it's gone from being around four, four and a quarter kilometer to four and a half kilometer. It's gone from having 13 turns to having 16. The lap record the race lap record in the most recent version of Kailami that F1 raced at was a 117.5 by Nigel Mansell in FW14. Now I'm not going to get anywhere near close to that, but I thought let's get into the RSS Formula Hybrid X. I think it's called the X2021 still though, of course it's now the 2022 regulations. Why don't we get into... Seto Corsa, try this car out of this track because it would take a while to do the development work to get Kyle Abbey up to a grade 1 standard if we were to see it get to a grade 1 standard. And let's see how much fun it could be to do this again. I haven't raced a Kyle Abbey since Toka Race Driver 2, so it's going to be a whole new track for me as well. Okay, so here we are. I don't know if this is like somebody porting it from ACC or if it's a flat out mod, but I'll put the race department link if I can find it, because I'm pretty sure I've got off a race department in the description below and Oh, this is pretty cool. So on the older version it was flat and you went you did have this hairpin, you just went flat and you went up round here. I think there's a hairpin up here. Oh no, this is just a sweeping corner. It's weird because the last time I did drive this would be Toka Race Driver 2 with a Ford GT. Oh, this bit's a new bit. I think. So yeah, sure quality than a race. But I mean, even as a track, this has a kind of character that we don't see in F1. You know, flags out. I wonder why. Yeah, this bit's the new bit. And I have to say, I just like the, I like the architecture as well. This track is in ACC, but even though I've been playing ACC, I haven't tried out Kyle Alami yet because I wanted to have my first impressions be in a video like this. Let's try and go for a fast lap now. This is going to be a sweeping corner. Don't go off here. I just like the way this looks as well. Of course, there would be some significance to doing a race in South Africa. So the South African Grand Prix, it only returned for a couple of years after, um, well, after the evolution of apartheid, as I lose control going into, I believe th those courses are called the Crocodiles.
I think even as a track, even as just saying this as a track, it's amazing. It's really enjoyable to drive. Let's put MGU into hot out lap and have another go. It's not going to count because I've got off there, but... Man, that's been a lot of fun. But at the same time, how does it race? Let's do a five lap race now with some other Formula Hybrids. Where you'll see my true mediocrity. Oh, a bit of a lock-up from the car in front there. See, the thing is, I don't know how it would do for overtaking. Oof. Just had a bit of a tank slapper. Oh, I'm going to have someone coming up alongside me downhill. But I think I'll have the inside line for this next corner. We've had one person retire. don't know how or why, but... Oh, that guy just rode right across the curbs. I've got to say, it is a lot of fun in race trim. Just having like a long sweeping corner like that. Oh, as I've just gotten all kinds of sideways. Oh, got someone up the inside here. Missed my point. Whoa! Jesus. Honestly. Not last, because someone else DNF'd. But I don't think my race is going to last a lot longer either. I avoided a big crunch there by the looks of things. Or maybe not. Yeah, so I guess that's that, folks. And I wasn't last. I really should have been 20th, but I did cross another split after um, this one did the spin. But yeah, the fastest lap was a 118.7 by the AI. And honestly, yeah, that's where I could really expect F1 cars being. This track is longer and a bit slower than the old Kyle Army, but at the same time, it's probably going to be around a similar lap time with modern day F1 cars. So let me know what you think, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, and which track would you like me to have a look at next? You can also check out other videos I did, including like What About Mugello, in the description section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye for now.